Drinking and its problems are always a hot topic around the Glasgow City Centre. Student drinking in particular is often viewed in a poor light. Many pubs and clubs in Glasgow appeal directly to students. The offer of cheap alcohol and a night out in the UK's capital of culture are often too good to pass up. But can this popular pastime leave a dent on the lives of students out with the, of the bars and clubs? We catch up with Alistair Bennett, a student who has given up drinking alcohol. At least three nights a week I would be very drunk and it's just not a good lifestyle at all. Craig Stephen, a student who enjoys regularly going out to drink. Uh, in a night out I can spend a lot of money and a lot of booze. The more I drink, the more I spend. And Jamie Anderson, manager of the Art Glasgow, a popular student pub in the heart of the city centre who offer many cheap deals to students. I, I prefer working in student pubs. It's a lot more relaxed. Uh, the atmosphere, generally with the clothes I can wear, I, obviously I am the manager, but I wear different clothes to the staff, but then as opposed to other pubs where I maybe wear a shirt and tie, here obviously I can get away with a polo shirt and just feel more part of the team. We wondered what they thought made student pubs so popular. I think a lot has to do with the current climate and environment in the pub in question. I think personally from our pub, I know that we're getting a refurb in the beer garden soon. However, there's different student pubs with different kinds of feel. I still think students these days want to actually have a little bit more kind of a newer pub. As much as it's relaxed, we don't want to be too relaxed because some people, you know, abuse that and maybe do graffiti or tear up the chairs and stuff. Unfortunately, it happens and we can't always catch people out for doing that. But, you know, it's, I think the way the culture's moving is that we almost want it to be a little bit smarter, a little bit better. Uh, unfortunately, we just can't always control that. But yeah, people will still come here, it's a popular pub. Uh, but then I think they'd rather come to a smarter, fresher, newer version of the same thing. So yeah. Whatever's cheap, so normally student pubs aye, are the best. I didn't go to student pubs. Um, they're a nightmare. They, I, I don't know what it is about them. Like, I've, used, I've not been a student for long, um, but no, I'd rather just go to a nice comfy pub and just have a, have a good chat and then possibly take it on somewhere else because I'd be too loud. Generally, I like uh, pubs uh, which are open till quite late. I'm not really a big fan of clubs. Uh, just somewhere you can just sit and drink and talk you know, till the early hours rather than have to like shout over music and stuff like that. So yeah, like ale pubs, old pubs, kind of old man pubs. Those sorts of things. It doesn't really bother me to be honest. Um, I actually, well, pubs are probably better because nightclubs are a bit rowdy and stuff like that and a bit too loud. We wondered if students were aware of the health problems from binge drinking and if this affected their opinion on drinking. It does damage to your body. Um, it's not good for you. Binge drinking is probably the worst sort of drinking. I still go to the pub and have soft drinks and uh, still enjoy it socially, but I'm, it's a lot better health-wise. And I can feel the health problems, like sort of liver, sort of kidneys, things like that. But uh, I'll worry about that when I'm older. Definitely, you know, I'm a responsible social drinker. Uh, I probably only drink at the weekend or during the week, you know, with uh, food. So uh, I don't really... I don't really drink to excess. That's what you're asking, no. though. Yeah, I do. I, I still go nights out, but I don't. I only do like, occasional drinking, but maybe only once a month or something. Yeah. Moderation. Obviously, you need a fair amount of money to be able to afford to go out on a few nights a week. Does this affect how much a student will drink, and how much does a good night out usually cost? Well, probably in a night out, maybe at the very least fifty pounds a night out, and but, and there's like a few of them a week, so it was not um, the easiest thing to keep going. So. I thought it would do a lot better if I just stopped. Well, I was just out last night and I spent about 20, 30 quid. Something like that. Not a lot, really. Like, you can normally get by. Like, if you've got some moves, you can generally make it last a bit longer. Like. There's different students who will have different ways of drinking alcohol and stuff. We do the best we can in the, in the respect. If someone came in, we thought I had too much to drink, we'd obviously cut them off. With the new licensing law changes, we'd never allow people to come up to the bar and buy 10, 15 shots for himself and then let them stand there egging them on while they drink it. You know, you just cannot do that. So there's people who, students who would want to do that, but obviously in this environment we'd never allow it. Apart from being in the pub, students' main priority is to get a good education. How much does alcohol affect your work? I stopped drinking because it affected my studies. I, uh, I was just started first year and I knew I had to put the work in, so when I started drinking that affected that and, and it's caused trouble with my parents and stuff, so I thought I better stop drinking. I'd like to say no, but uh, I suppose if I didn't drink, then 
I'd probably get more studying done and pull my marks up a bit, but as long as I keep passing it, it's all right. So do those in question feel there's a problem with drinking in Scotland? More and more students, I think, are drinking at home. Uh, they'll have their own carry out, go to the supermarket, buy their cheap lager, cheap bottle of vodka, and obviously just get tanked up in the house. And obviously that nature or that culture still is obviously evident because you do hear about it and that's why the licensing boards are trying more and more to try and stop people drinking like that. I think the pubs feel more of the hurt on that, unfortunately, whereas it's a bit stupid because then we control the way people drink in our, in our pub. Whereas at home, if someone wants to down a bottle of vodka with their friends at their birthday party, they'll do that. And there's no control on that. It's, it's the old problem with the supermarket prices and the pub control and pub prices. There are elements of drinking problems in Scotland. I wouldn't say there's a problem overall, but yeah, there is. And it's not just in Scotland, there's problems like that. Patches all over the world, but there is, for some reason, there's a mentality in Scotland uh, of drinking too much in some places, yeah. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a hard one to say, like, um, I think there's quite a lot of pressure on like people having a quite a good time and like all these other deals and everything like that. It's not really that that makes it makes it all up. It's I know it's, it's lots of other things like I mean, people are drinking like loads to get rid of pressures and, like every day and stuff. Like I don't think it's really fair to blame it on students and young people. I think it's just an easy target really. No, everyone is just having a bit of fun. It's not like it's causing a problem or anything. You get more problem from wee bams running about drinking in the streets than you do from students going out and getting steaming. And I think the problem is that people don't learn from their mistakes, so they should only make a mistake once or twice, or maybe three or four times, and then that's that, so.